Hello, 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 View Scholar here, episode 301. What a disappointing start to the season. Let's see who's leading the division. The Lions and the Bears are tied. And the Bears skunked us 44 to nothing. As for the most of the time, either the kicker or the punter was the quarterback. So we got a new kicker and uh, got a new backup quarterback because our main quarterback is hurt again. And uh, we're going. Going Reinhardt as the starter. Good old Reggie Reinhardt won a Super Bowl. So we know we can get it done. Let's do our weekly training. And then uh, and we'll look at the Minnesota Vikings and what their team looks like now in 2035. Okay, our injury report. We got three normal and then the kicker and Donald Groves again foot fracture he had a what do you have a herniated a ruptured disc or a herniated disc and now a foot fracture he's missed a lot of games the Vikings have no injuries so that's unfortunate or it's fortunate we don't wish injuries on anyone Vikings 290s. Oh, they still have Brody Hayden at quarterback. Halfback is Farrington Lincoln. He's he's getting up there. Wide receivers. Juan Marion. Yep. This team's older, huh? Derek Lynn. Got a little bit of an older team right here. Except for Ricky Doolittle. Nods. Not the greatest offensive line. Oop, yeah, Kelvin Pollock. 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 Avery Dunlap. Yeah. Solid starting one two quarter, you know. Corners. Can't complain too badly. Oop, excuse me. Kicker. Left turn? Wow. Let's win. Welcome to Lambeau Field, everybody. 2035, there's can hold 150,000 people now. Because they just keep building it taller and taller. It's like the Super Metro Dome from... Not Metro, Super Dome. No, that's a bad... Can't use either of those words. Um, it's just Lambeau Field. He looks, he looks like Stephen Crandall. All right, we're going to be kicking the ball on defense first. Come on. Not responding. All right. To the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25 yard line. That was Miranda, I think. Brody Hayden, 51.6% completion rating. I don't want to say anything because ours was, it was so bad. Last week was so bad. So bad. Tagging 4-3 like from Pete Carroll's defense. And what a way to get that tackle for a loss there. Right, Denzel rushing. That was a double team, but it wasn't. The pulling guard just missed him. Second and eleven. And with the four three. And off to Lincoln. Lincoln goes up the middle and he's tackled by Lewis McLaughlin. I think he gained three on the three or four, maybe. Russell Free. Lincoln Doolittle. Doolittle Lincoln. Third and eight. Four 
Hated back to pass. Pressure's coming. Pressure's gets to him, and down he goes for a sack as it is once again Denzel rushing. Good signing by the Packers. Bruce Yarber. Let me put that... Um, I didn't do that the first time. I should have done that. Put down who the quarterback was. Er, not quarterback, the coach. Yarber. Er, Yarber. I'm having a hard time spelling right now. Okay, we're punting the ball. We're going to get done. Hopefully. Make the first man miss, and he does. Makes the second man miss, and then gets tackled. Two missed tackles, though. That was pretty good. Starting at the 38 is pretty good. Here we go. 75% of his passes were completed for 17 yards when he got hurt. I think it was two for three. <laughs> and we're, uh, we're spread offense, so let's throw the ball a lot. A lot more than we're used to. Here's a handoff on first down. Four yards there for George Weathers. Gilbert Weathers, not George Weathers. Gilbert Weathers, wow. My mistake. Four yards. Shotgun. Tight end on the nine. Back to pass, Reinhardt. Reinhardt. Yep. Mm -hmm. This might not be Reinhardt's game. Like, to throw the ball a lot. But he's going to be the starting quarterback for... What, six more games? Seven more games? Some ridiculous number. Third and six. I think he's the white, the split. Ooh, he's slot receiver, back to pass, and it's broken up, and we're punting too. Okay, the second quarter down seven. As uh, the defense, it okay. Offense, meh. It's gonna be a tough one. Now it looks like that's Lacey McCoo returning the punt. Kick off. They run the ball a lot. I don't think uh, Reggie Reinhardt's completion percentage is very good, though. Slow snap, handoff Weathers. Weathers runs into the defensive tackle. He's pretty good at his job. Yeah, see, so they're holding him. Hold them down. They didn't run the ball at all last week. Even though they were like down to their kickers. Which is just so stupid because no team would ever do that. They would just hand the ball off all the time. But it's Madden. That's no chance there. Oh, did was that in bounds? Wow. <laughs> that was a good... Matthias, Patrick Matthias with a great catch there. I thought he was throwing it way over his head. Yeah, I think if that defender wasn't there holding him up, he wouldn't have made it. Alright, split back in the backfield. Back to pass, Reinhardt. Looking around, looking around. Deuce fix with the catch. A little bit of a bullet there. Justin Herbert apparently throws the ball really hard. And some of the wide receivers were complaining about it or something. And Keenan Allen's like, dude, catch the ball. And then Mac Jones got a comment about having pillow pillow touch. So he was so good at it or whatever. And uh, Mac Jones, better than Justin Herbert. Bill Belichick. Well, he couldn't do anything with Cam Newton, but... He seems to... I don't know. 
think I underestimated Bill Belichick. Thought it was all Tom Brady. Maybe not. Second and six now. Putting the 47 back to pass Reinhardt. Reinhardt passes for Kirkland. Kirkland getting on the field there. Ter Terrell Kirkland. Seventh round pick. In 32. We traded for. Because we needed some younger wide receivers. From under center, 14 to 7, handoff, Weathers, Weathers gets around the corner, Weathers breaks a tackle, Weathers goes into the open field, and Weathers is going to take it to the house, he is explosive once he doesn't fall down anymore from one touch. Packers are up, extra point from tying this game. Okay, extra point. New kicker. Got great leg power. He should be kicking off. I think I made a mistake and I don't have him kicking off. I need to fix that. Right, next up on defense. We'll see all this... Uh, they don't put new world champions in. That's kind of disappointing. It would have been cool if they did that. Switch it from the 10. And wow! Taken down at the 23. By Julian Porter. Seattle lost. San Francisco lost. Eagles lost. Hayden, hand up. Lincoln going around the corner. Lincoln getting around the corner. Shiftiness getting some decent yards there on first down. Seven yards. Second and seven under center. Brandon in motion. Hand off. Ooh, big, big tackle that causes them to get hurt. Dang. Jared Barth is like, boom, buddy. Undrafted in 30. Starting linebacker for the Packers. Inside linebackers look. Tough position. There's just no good players. I look at the other teams to see if there's. Seems like it's. Uh, I don't know. Maybe need experience needs to get bumped up a little bit on the middle linebackers. And that's broken up. They're gonna punt the ball. Way to go, defense. Is it Barth again? Wow. This Barth is getting it done. No, it wasn't him that broke it up. Okay, end of the game. Hopefully we can win. We gave up a 86-yard touchdown to Lynn. Lynn something. Drick. Lynn Drick. I don't think Reggie. I don't know. I got my fingers crossed. And the defending Super Bowl champions are going to start 0-2 after losing two divisional games. Wow. Not a great start for the new head coach whose philosophy might not be working out, but he doesn't have a starting quarterback. But still, I mean, that defense is not getting it done either. Weathers ran the ball 16 times for eight. 5.5 yards of carry, two touchdowns. Barth and McLaughlin with big tack totals. Denzel rushing. 
Ugh. Yuck, guys. Is always the fun week, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our injury report and see if there's new players on the injury report. Jeez. So that's our kick returner. He's out six weeks. Two left tackles now. So we're down to a single left tackle. Lily and Volek are coming back, but He's on injured reserve, so just Mooney's money. Mooney is coming back. Dang, man, I'm just getting ravaged by injuries here. What does that leave for my left tackle? Luke's playing. Alan Booth is starting left tackle. Oh, golly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Points. We got some points. What are they projecting us to pick? We're picking first, guys. We're going to pick from 31st to first. So, get a half back and get a quarterback. Get a left tackle. Get this left end. This guy's got the best, like, well, in the running back. Power back out of Nebraska. I don't know much about him, but we're not going to pick first. But currently, that's what we're projected. We have, the, like, the worst record. And then what's, what's our, uh, who wants what? Austin Zushfix wants to get paid. Darius Church wants to get paid. Wilkins. Darren Wilkins probably stays. So. I might walk away from Zushfix just because he's going to have 80 speed next year. Yeah, I, I think we're not going to sign him. Church, we're going to sign. What do we got? What do we got? What's his money? Got 30 some million. I think, I think he's going to get signed. He's not. not we're going to move on from him. Julian Pointer. It's a backup safety. Kirkland, he wants some money. Always oh, says 80 speed. I don't think I'd do that either. I think we go new tight end next year. Tackles. You can do a four, three-year deal on him. The speed is good enough, but I'm not coming back. Bart's not coming back. Mari, probably not. Lewis Battles, no. Looks all the tight ends are going to be gone. I just can't pay three million to a tight end that I'd rather look in the free agent market, you know? Probably not. I don't know, maybe. Two years, three point two million is one point five a year. Yes, maybe, 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 yes. No, 
no, no, no, no, no. Maybe, I guess. I don't know. I think about it. But I'm going to end the episode here. It was kind of disappointing. And I will look at our opponent in a little bit. But I'm not ending the episode. I'm going to be done for the night. All right. I got, I got a good night's sleep. And uh, no, not really. And I got a flu shot today. And I uh, went to the gym. And I had, I just had no energy whatsoever. So it was just a bleh kind of day. And just like this season has been going, as we are 0-2, oh, we're playing the Saints. They're 1-1. One one. We got left tackle issues. We got we got so many injuries. Starting quarterback, kicker, doesn't matter now. Kick returner, starting center, starting left tackle. Back up, backup left tackle, that's not that big of a deal, but... And the left guard, backup left guard. And we're playing the Saints. And they look like they got some players out too. But we don't see anything that's super high. You know, 99 guys or anything like that. Let's take a look at their team and see what the Saints look like with Taysom Hill. And, uh... I don't even know. Oh, Elvin Kamara. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Dylan Moreland is a 99 overall superstar, 26 year old. Let's take a look at those skills. 5,000 yards, look at that. 33 and 16, I mean his interception rate isn't, that's not great percentages of touchdowns and interceptions, but 5,000 yards, oof, that's no, do no joke, huh? Ran the ball a little bit. Ooh, running back. This is the hurt running back. Oh, he's the fastest of them too. So, oh, Arthur Manuels is hurt. So, Paris Newman. Ah, oh, look at that. Eight five overall wide receiver, Kirkland Ward. Not gonna blow anyone away with the speed, but ninety overall is nice for the sim mode. And back up tight end, seventy seven speed. I thought it was lower. What? Ooh, yeah, there you go. Left tackles in ninety-three overall. That's a good. That's a good offensive line. Ninety-nine overall middle linebacker with ninety-one speed. Twenty-four years old. Good shut down corner. But only a 79 overall. I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the scheme and... Uh, I don't know. This might not be a good fit for the Packers scheme. For the players that they have. Dang, why did my coach retire? Mine went one Super Bowl and retired. All right, while this is loading up, let's talk about where we stood for the team talent just comparison to last year. Uh, our starting overall offense had exactly the same overall of 78.19. Uh, the age of the team, though, went up by a year, but the experience did not. So we got older players, but not more experienced player. On defense, our age went up a little bit. Uh, our years experience went up our everything went up a little bit on defense so um, I don't know there's there's not a big change I guess what I'll do is I'll have to look at yeah, 31st and 29th look at what they're the ones that won the Super Bowl if they're much better than the ones that lost the Super Bowl and I already can see that they're not like the first year Packer defense was 76.04 which is exactly the same as this defense. Offensively, the first year, 16, was 77.42. It's 78.19. So it doesn't really fluctuate that much for the overall team. Um, you know, I don't know about starters because I don't track that. And I do the entire offense and defense. And we are on defense first. So the kick is off and away, and I forgot to switch kickers. Dang it, I want... 
Oh, the strong-legged kicker. Not, um... Uh, uh oh Goss is hurt. Was he, he was either kick returner? I don't know if he was good or not. They don't really give you any good information about it. It does appear that he was like a starting wide receiver. Richard in motion. Newman in the backfield. Hand off to Newman up the middle. And he is tackled by Jared Barth. Second down and six. Gain of four on first down. Got a light box here. Get some pressure. We cannot. First down made as the tackle is made by Virgil Duckett. Merciless. With the first down. First down from the 37. Makes it, passes over the middle. Eubanks with a nice catch. Pinpoint accuracy by the very good quarterback. George Eubanks with the catch. As it looks like. That was safe. Free safety Darren Eccles was in coverage. In that play. New set of downs. Hand off to Newman. Newman gets pushed down by Darkly Stinson. Gain of three. Jacksonville. Whoa. Can you see that score? 42 0. It's like the Chicago Bears score, huh? Ooh, Detroit is 2 0. Second and seven. Back to pass Moreland. Moreland looks around. No pressure getting there. No pressure. Dumps it off. Immediately tackled, but got hurt on the play and was immediately tackled and dropped the ball. And that is our free agent cornerback, Mansea Dorsey, the 2029 Defensive Back of the Year. Though now at 34 years old, probably not... I wonder, I wonder if there's been really good drops. Pass over the middle, Eubanks, first down. Clips 35 yard line there. Lewis McLaughlin coming over for coverage, but it was too late by then. Newman blown up in the backfield. Loss of a yard. I think I saw Braxton Huron and who the other one was. Maybe it was rushing. Second. Second and 11. Starting the line of scrimmage. Two tight end set. Blitz picked up. Pressure. No pressure. Corner of the end zone. Almost picked off. Dang, man. Darren Eccles almost had himself a pick. Third and 11. We're in long field goal territory, so maybe a sack here would be great. Anything less than 11 yards would be great, too. Back to pass. It's a good offensive line, so... Oh, pressure. Gets to him. He does get the ball off. And they're going to kick a field goal. 37 yard line is a pretty easy, like, it's a makeable field. Plus 12 yards, I think. It's a plus 12 yards, so 37. You have 49 yard field goal. And, oh, and it's away. 
And it's short. All right. Packers get great field goal pos field position to start their drive here. First and ten. Under center goes Reggie Reinhardt. Handoff up the middle, and he is just smashed down by Ken Norton Jr. That's Ryan Norton Jr. Sky one. No gain on that first down. Second and ten. And, oh, no, no handoff. Looks around. He goes down. There's a flag, so we got an extra 15, I bet. Oh, no, it's even worse. It's holding. Killer Weather is withholding. They declined it. Third and 20. Yeah, that makes sense. Third and a mile, everybody. Fakes it. Going deep. And he caught it. What a catch. 30 yards for Devin Sankey. Big catch. Got hit good on the catch, too. I thought he sailed it over receiver, but it was the other receiver that they were going for. Sankey with the solid hands there. Saving this drive. Down to the 36. This is kind of where they missed their field goal. From the 37. Brothers up the middle. Brothers getting like thick there. Nice. Minnesota's got seven on the Raiders. Under center. Two tight end set. Hand off Brothers again. Brothers get smacked down right away. Um, what's the Saints? Yeah, the Saints were the four seed last year. No coach is ever going to do that. Third and two. Eye formation. Oh, third and seven. What are you doing, buddy? That's Alan Booth filling in there. The undrafted left tackle in his second year in the NFL. Third and seven. Kirkland is in the game. That wide receiver. About to pass. Pressure gets to him and he just chucks it out of bounds. Taking the three. And going to normal mode. Well, our quarterback threw two interceptions, which led to 14 points. Managed to get a field goal at the end of the game there. To make it a 18-point game going into the third quarter. Offense, the mode offense doesn't do anything. So much passing in that. That's spread offense, so it's working. It's that's what's intended to pass the ball, but this is the wrong quarterback for that. And he was past the line when he threw the ball. Can we go 0-16 after winning the Super Bowl? Wouldn't that be crazy? Brothers fights forward. Bringing up a manageable third and six. Pass, bulleting it, and it's broken up. Hunting the ball. Wow. 
Well, the punt was really good. Dropped it to the three. So the Saints have it at the three. Come on, defense. Three tight ends. Hand off up the middle. <laughs> There's a flag. Is that holding? Holding offense. Two yard. So he gained like a little bit. I don't know why it's up to three. Second and nine. Hand off again. Breaks a tackle. Puts tackle for one yard loss. Third and ten from the two. They're going to have to pass the ball. High formation, handoff, go no, back to pass, get some pressure on him, pressure gets to him, and gets rid of the ball just before it goes, gets hit, so they're going to punt the ball. Okay, so we'll have good field position for the sim mode. Alright, we got a touchdown and field goal, and an extra, and a two point conversion, they got a touchdown, so we're down 14, and our defense just isn't there. And Lewis McLaughlin. Gets the interception. We got a chance here. We got a field goal out of the interception, which means we're down 11 with them getting the ball. So there's a penalty, and the Packers got the ball. The 26th. Touchdown. Two-point conversion is good. We're down three. Can you believe it? Saints got a touchdown. Ten-point lead. Four minutes left. Kick the field goal with the one-yard line. So, Packers got to get a stop here. So far, so good. We're going to get a chance here. To go down and score the game-tying touchdown. Thirty-eight seconds left. A sack. Incomplete pass. 17 seconds left. The game is over. The Packers have fallen to 0 and 3 on the season. And who's 98.7 is not a great rating. 300 yards though. 70% completion rating. I'm not saying. But Leathers 3.8 yards of carry. We had a hard time with Eubanks. Packers, let's see who's the leading tackler. Church, rushing, Stinson, split sack. No one, well, one interception, Lewis McLaughlin. But again, like I said, man, 0 and 3 after winning the Super Bowl. Ugh. Let's just take some time out. I'm not going to play the Raider game today. I'll do it tomorrow, but let's take some time out to look at injury report. Our sucks. How about the Raiders? They might have a right guard problem. But let's take a look at their team. All right, Timothy Procell, 85 overall quarterback, 84 overall running back, 93, 83, offensive line. 
is the injured guy. Got a good right tackle. Ooh. Tevin Purvis. Speed rushing right end. I wonder what... So he's at 99 overall. He should have... Sacks are kind of, like, interesting in this game. Like, I just don't know. Yeah. He's got 11 sacks that year. Nine and a half. What about... What does that look like for his... With some time. It's interesting that... Big year there. And what was his award? He was a fifth pick. 30 player of the year. Maybe that helped him out. I don't know. Plus five wouldn't give him 99. So. Middle linebacker good. So there are good middle linebackers in the league. They just never become free agents. safety. Starting safety's hurt. <laughs> His backup is so much faster anyways. Do you mean Nielsen? Okay. See you tomorrow for the game. Alright guys, it's the next day and I'm still tired, but I've done a lot lately. But that's the end of the episode. We'll see you in the next episode for the Raiders game. Let's get a win and then I'm going to sign players once I get a win. So hopefully get a win because I don't want to go on 16. That would be crazy. I don't think that'll happen because we'll actually get our starting quarterback back. But oh my goodness. Oh and three. Is the playoffs even out of the question? I mean, the Lions are 3-0. and We are so far behind in our division. Wow. All right.